Our second presenter of the uh, of this session is uh, Dr. Frank Lee. He received his uh, DDS degree from the School of Dentistry, Taipei Medical University in 1986. From 1992 to 1995, he pursued uh, graduate studies in the postdoctoral program of periodontal prosthetics and implantology at the School of Dental Medicine, University of Pennsylvania, and received certificates in both specialties of periodontics and periodontal prosthesis. Currently, he maintains a full-time private practice in Taipei, Taiwan. He is uh, an active member of the Academy of Osseo Integration and the European Association of Osseo Integration. He is actively involved in teaching at several dental schools in Taiwan and serves as a senior consultant and lecturer for Biomet 3i implant systems. In Taiwan, he is a pioneer in the field of microscopic dentistry and is exclusively devoted to non-surgical microperiodontics and microinvasive implant dentistry. Dr. Li. Thank you for your kind introduction. Vanessa, konnichiwa. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Dr. Li from Taiwan, a periodontist currently practicing in Taipei. Can you hear me well? No. <laughs> it's not turned on yet. You can hear me now, right? Okay. It's really a great honor that I can be here on this stage with Dr. Suzuki and Dr. Hidaka to present my material on microscopic dentistry. And before I get started, I would first like to take this chance to thank the AMA committee and the Dr. Hilata for the kind invitation and all the nice arrangements. The pleasure is really mine. What I'm going to share with you today are my experiences on microscopic periodontal and implant treatment. As you can see here, that I also put Chinese character, or we may say kanji today, along with my English because I want to mark this special event to be held at this special place, Tokyo. So welcome all of my friends from around the world to the Far East area, even though it is already the last day of our three-day seminar, but still a pleasure having you here. My presentation comprises two major parts. First, I'll be talking about how to treat periodontal disease without doing periodontal surgeries, as we traditionally did. And I'll be showing you the microscopic way of getting outside and the ultrasonic instrumentation into the periodontal pocket without actually incising and elevating flaps. And in the second part of my presentation, I'll be focusing on what contemporary dentistry refers to as flapless implant placement. As implant restorations become more and more popular, our patients are now demanding not only successful treatment results, but also uneventful and painless treatment processes. Nobody likes to be hurt and get suffered. And the reason that I put a discussion on perio before implant is because my 17 years experiences tell me that only with a periodontally healthy oral environment then can we have predictable implant success. So in treating implant cases, an in-depth, thorough, and profound periodontal thinking must always be implemented. And now let's get down to the real business of our main topic today. What you see here is Taipei City. The high building is called Taipei 101. So far, the highest building on the earth. Everybody here is welcome to visit me, and I will take you up there to the top. I finished my dental education in Taiwan, and then completed my graduate training in periodontal prosthesis and dental implantology at the University of Pennsylvania. As you probably all know, that being a disciple of Dr. Morton Amstin and Dr. J. Sieber, my clinical mission was to do full mouth fixed reconstruction for those periodontally compromised dentitions. 17 years ago, when I first started this career, the only way that I could do all these treatments was by surgeries, because only by opening up the flaps would it allow me to gain direct visual and operational access into the target areas, the periodontal pockets and the bony implant size. So in those days, perio and implant treatment were all about open flap surgeries, guided regenerations, 
and all kinds of suturing techniques, pain, swollen, edema, and even bruise were all unavoidable. This is probably why at that time I got a nickname, Dr. Bruce Lee, because I could make my patient bruised very easily with surgeries. And quite interestingly, some people even thought that I'm a cousin of the famous Chinese Kung Fu movie star Bruce Lee, because I was called Bruce Lee. However, with the advent of microscope, microperio and microimplant techniques have been evolved to obviate the needs for surgeries. Transition were undertaken and the treatment modalities are being transformed from surgical intervention into non-surgical management. Under the microscope, our vision gets magnified. Manual dexterity is increased. And as a consequence, with all the images being enlarged under the microscope, maneuverability can be tremendously improved. All these are advantages with microscope and can help us to negate the need for surgical approach during our clinical treatment. So it's good for both doctors and patients. So now let's first look at microperiodontics. We all know from researchers that the etiology of periodontitis is the accumulation of microorganisms on the root surface. The cocci, the rods, the sparkets, or even the motel rods. This microbial colonization on the root surface would result in the formation of the following bacterial biofilm, which we used to call plaque, the major culprit for causing periodontal infection. Calculus, the calcified bacterial mass, which can serve as a reservoir wall for bacterial retention and needs to be removed completely during the treatment. 